My dear friends in the Lord, a blessed day. This is Father June Limbaga, and welcome to Encounter. Jesus said in our Gospel today, Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Does this mean that loving God means we need to love our family less? Does this mean there is competition in love? We all know that family is the core of our identity and purpose. Our family is the very reason why we dream big dreams and do the best we can to realize this so that we can provide our families a better life. But there is also a danger to get stuck just within our own family, that in our desire for closeness, we tend to be closed with no more space for God and no more space for others. It is in this light that our gospel today reminds us of three things. First, to be ready to give up even our best to God. Sometimes we want to keep the best to ourselves, but Jesus invites us to readily give up our family and willingly entrust them to God so that our family can find centrality in God. But this does not mean that we need to preoccupy ourselves with church activities and even literally leaving our family members with no care and concern. Rather, it means that we give the best of ourselves to our family. We give the best of our love to our family, not only because we love them, but because we love God. When we entrust our family to God and serve our family to the best way that we can, then we make our family a gift to ourselves and to others. Second, our gospel invites us to realign our love in its proper perspective. Our stories of human love should never detach us from the larger story of God's love. Without a strong bond with Jesus, all our relationships will fall out of place. Apart from Christ, love is never fulfilled. But when a family is rooted in God's love, then it knows how to embrace discomforts. It knows how to understand and accept differences. And it knows how to forgive even the most broken relationships. If a family is disconnected with Christ, then it fails to make the presence of God transparent for others to see. Third invitation is to reach out to others beyond the confines of family. Our family always receives our best. However, sometimes to the extent that we are blinded to the needs of others who are not family. Sometimes we even claim that we have more than enough concerns already for the family, that we refuse to open our hearts to anyone outside. There is no more space for love for people outside the family circle. When we allow love to be limited by the limits of blood relations, then we have failed to truly understand and live out the gospel of Christ. When Jesus tells us to love Him more than our family, He simply wants us to love our families the way He does, in the very perspective of His love, extending even beyond our family circle. So let us then, my dear brothers and sisters, have a reset of our life. Let us have a reset on our relationships.
was in high school, there was this boy around seven or eight who would usually come to our home at a perfect timing, dinner time. He, and then Papa would welcome him and then make him sit with us around the table and then he would serve him. And I just hated it because he was a competitor to the attention that Papa was giving us. And not only that, he was also sharing the not so plenty food we had. And when I brought this to Papa's attention years later, Papa said, don't you know that that little boy was the child of our neighbor's house help? Child out of wedlock and deprived of food coming to our home was for him a feast. After Mama died, Papa was left at home with the assistance of a house help. And yet what was very confusing to me was that instead of letting our house help cook for their lunch or sending her to buy food at the nearby restaurant, Papa would usually avail of the service of an elderly tricycle driver and pays even more than the prescribed fare just to purchase food at a restaurant that was even close to our home. So one time I confronted him about the matter and I even mentioned to him somehow not to waste the allowance that my siblings and I were, were giving him every month. But then Papa just looked at me and said to me words I will never forget in my lifetime. June, you should know how to find a hungry child on the street. Now all these memories make sense to me now. Papa knew what it means to put God in the center of a family life. Love should not be limited within the circle of the family. A family cannot be heartless to a neighbor in need. This is another episode of Encounter. Thank you very much for watching. May God continue to bless you and your loved ones. And always remember, God loves you just because.